at uh, All Day Records. Um, I just picked up a copy of Paul McCartney's Ram, which is a very big record for me and means a lot to me. I've listened to it millions and millions upon millions of times. Um, but my copy scratched, so I'm excited to get another one. I, I, I Personally, I think that Ram stacks up there with, with Beatles records. I think it's just an amazing record. Um, I'd even rank it above some actual Beatles records. It's so good. Um, I also got this one, rather incendiary cover, um, but uh, it's, it's, I am just curious to hear it. It's called Anarchist Republic of Bzzz, and it has a couple of my favorite guitarists ever um, collaborating on it. It looks like it's a live recording of some kind. Ardo Lindsay from DNA, um, Mark Rebeau, who's also an amazing guitarist, and uh, I actually saw both of them perform together recently, and uh, so I was pretty excited to I find like, this. I like his wristwatch. It's a very nice wristwatch. I like his, his lips are a little chapped, I think. It's the desert living. <laughs> Uh, Sir Richard Bishop, um, I actually haven't heard this record, but I love Sun City Girls. He's the guitarist of Sun City Girls, and uh, just a totally wild, unhinged guitarist who's, uh, I don't know, I've been really into him recently. The Big Express, XTC, I love XTC. Uh, one of my favorite bands ever, but to be honest, there's kind of there's an era of XTC that I've never really delved that much into, which is kind of their big, shiny, late '80s, early '90s pop records. Uh, I know Oranges and Lemons is one of those records, and Mummer uh, and The Big Express. So I don't really know this record, but I love XTC. I know one song on this album, um, but I'm I'm hoping it's good. And this one was in the free section. And I believe that you can never have too many copies of Close to the Edge, but yes, because it's incredible.